<laughs> okay. All right. Let's get this pot on the road, as they say. Let's do the thing. Let's put our tongues into action. Well, you don't put your tongue into action. You might. You could be putting your tongue in. You could be talking right now. Talking at the screen while you're watching this. Going, shut up. Shut up, person in the screen. And I'd be like, hey, that's cool, man. You know, tell me. You can you can tell me what to do. It's fine. Um, I don't have to listen. But if you want to listen, go ahead and turn on your earballs because what's going to happen is I'm about to tell you nothing. I got nothing. That's what's so disappointing is this whole thing is set up. I got the light. I got the microphone. I got the camera. But I got nothing to say. And I thought I would figure it out if I just turned it on and started talking. But it's not going to happen. I should have just kept laying in bed and just thought about what I could do, but I wasn't going to do, you know, ultimately. Uh, is that a cat? Is there a cat meowing? Sounds like hello. Oh, God, I hope it's a cat. <laughs> Oh, it is It is dark. It is late. There's a window right there. And I should probably close the blinds because I can't see out. But they can most definitely see in because it's very lit in here. <laughs> Shit's lit, yo. That's what the kids... Okay, I mean, I probably could turn off this light. I think I saw that in a YouTube video one time. They're like, turn off all the lights... And then put your key light on and start from there and, you know, whatever. But I should probably turn off the overhead light and lights, lamps, I was going to say. I don't know. I might be having a stroke. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm thirsty. I can tell you that. And I'm sucking down air like a former leader. And I am... Really thirsty, though. I could really use some water. But the point of this podcast um, was to just be one long, continuous, boring shot like this. Where there isn't a whole lot of this and this and cuts and, you know. Yeah, I like that stuff, though. Where, you know, you push in, you pull in, and you... You know, you, you cut real close and you, you jump cut to this and maybe, you know, you take out all the ums and the ahs and the, the breaths, the heavy whale noises that I'm making. You take all that out and you put these, like, videos out, you know, that are in your face and they're very concise and they're quick and they're cut and they make you focus on them and you have to focus on them and you just scroll through your feed and... People are trying to put hooks at the beginning so they get your attention so you'll keep watching and you're watching these videos and you're like, oh, this is great. I got to find out what happens at the end. Well, I got to find out what happens to this guy. I got to keep watching the whole video. And he told me to. He said, stick around to the end. So I stuck around and it was worth it. And then I went to the next one and did it again. Oh, okay. All right. Let's start over. The point of this is to be like just a kind of a just whatever this is, you know, like I don't know you, you don't know me, I don't know who I'm talking to, I don't even know if this is on, I gotta be honest with you, I'm wearing sunglasses and that's off-putting probably because I'm not Casey Neistat, but it is kind of for the same reason. I am looking into a monitor and not into the lens because I'm sitting in a room by myself and if I look into the lens, I lose attention in maybe three seconds and then I start looking off and I remember what I'm talking about and then I talk about it and then I look off and I forget 
because there's no, you know, there's no, there's no person here. This is the weirdest way to do a podcast with one person. It's not a podcast. This is like a shitty version of the news, you know, like this isn't anything. This is, this isn't a, a podcast. A podcast, I usually, I mean, they're usually two people at least, right? Isn't there usually like a guest? There should be a guest. I should get a guest. I'm a, yeah, I'm going to have to get a guest. Somebody who is more interesting. Okay, that's, I promise it'll be the last time I do the big sniff of air. Uh, <laughs> it's like I've never talked before. I really could use some water, though. I really could. Um, so... There are a lot of reasons, probably, as you can already tell, to not do this, to not turn on a camera and talk into a microphone that I've had for 15 years, maybe, and have used maybe twice to sing Dracula songs, mostly. Mostly a song I made up... Um, from the point of view of Dracula. And it's a, it's a piano song. It's, it's a rip-off of the, uh, the Dracula song from, what was that movie with Jason Siegel? Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I think. Because I learned that one, and that's fun to play. That's a fun song. Uh, but I, I created my own, and it's, it's not good. But anyway, the point is, I, as I've proven, should not be doing this, but I am because I haven't figured that out yet, but I hope that will become clear soon. <laughs> like an idea, like a light bulb moment when the light comes on. So we'll see. I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. That's the mystery of it. That is the mystery of everything. The mystery of life. Why are we here? Where did we come from? And where did we go? Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> oh, that Cotton Eye Joe. I'll tell you what. Um, I could really... You remember that song about the peaches? Yeah. Yeah. The million of pe millions of peaches. I forgot the title of it. Was it Millions of Peaches? Yeah. That was a good song. I should cut to that. Can you do that? Can I cut like to a song? Or will I get demonetized? But I'm also not monetized. So will that matter? Can I? You can't. Yeah. I think when I upload a video on YouTube, right? It says... Like, you can share this, like, people can sample it. Or is that for something completely different? I don't know. I don't want to cut to something, but I would like to if I could. Um, I don't want to ruffle any feathers, you know. Um. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I would like to ruffle some feathers, though. Like not metaphorically, like literal feathers, though. I would like to get some feathers and, like, ruffle them up. You know, I don't... Definitely don't want to ruffle any metaphorical feathers. Just want to be clear about that. But the, the physical feathers, like a, like a, I don't want to say a dead goose because you know, it's, people don't like to hear about dead animals. So I'm just gonna say a bag of feathers, and I'm gonna ruffle them real good. Ugh. Touchy, touchy subject. You hear that? I'm making like banana noises now. I'm so thirsty. You know what banana noises are? Who was that? What comedian was that? Jimmy Carr, I think. If I can cut to things, I'll cut to him now. And if not, just look up Jimmy Carr. He is a stand-up comedian. And uh, look up like Jimmy Carr banana noises. And that's what I think I'm doing right now. I'm making like banana noises. You know, like those noises. Well, that's not it. I'm forcing it. 
Those aren't organic. We got to get a real one. Anyway. Whew, I probably shouldn't talk this close to the microphone. Or is it is it better if I talk this close? I don't know. There's a lot of questions I have uh, going into this. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This might just be the only one you see. Or maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I'll find a guest. And maybe, just maybe... We will all figure out what in the world we're doing here.